Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you are using Google Gemini, just to let you know that Google has announced yesterday on the 30th of April that you can now upload and edit your images directly in the Gemini app. So that would be the online version, the desktop version, and your mobile phone. Now, as you may well know, Earlier this year, Google introduced native AI image editing with AI Studio, and now it's rolling out the ability to modify both your AI creations, images you create in the actual Gemini chatbot, and images you upload from your phone or computer, because as you may well know, you can upload images um, into the chatbot and ask it questions about the, the um, images. And now you've also got the ability to edit your images as mentioned. So Google says that you can change the background, replace objects, add elements, and a whole lot more. And they give a simple example. So for example, you can upload a personal photo and then prompt Gemini to generate an image of what you'd look like with different hair colors. Now, I fiddled around with this um, functionality before posting, and I just did some simple um, examples. So I said, create an image of a dog, and then I have said, place a hat on the dog's head. So there we go. And here's another one I did. Um, this is create an image of a horse. And then I asked it to do the same, pop a hat on the horse's head. And then I said, make the horse stand in a field of flowers. So you get the general idea. Now, something else just to take note of is that Google does say that any images created or edited using this native image generation functionality will automatically include the invisible Synth RD digital watermark. And Google has also mentioned that it's currently experimenting with adding a visible watermark to all images generated by Gemini. So just take note of that. And if you're not seeing the editing functionality, Google says that native image editing in Gemini will start rolling out gradually. And that started yesterday, the 30th, as mentioned, expanding to more people in over 45 languages and most countries in the coming weeks. So if you're not seeing it just yet, then I'm sure over the next couple of days, it will arrive um, in your region. And I actually think this is a nice touch. I think it just brings a lot more functionality into the AI chatbot. Now, something else I've also noticed just on a side note is that Google has cleaned up the left-hand menu here to the left-hand side of the app. Now, if I just go over to another account of mine, here's the old layout with no chat history. That's just default, looking quite cluttered. Now, it seems that Google has taken most of the gem features and all the other entries that were in the actual side menu. And if we head back now to another, my main account, you can see things are cleaned up quite a lot. And if I click on that, we can see now it says settings and help where previously it just said settings and all that other functionality now has been placed into the main settings. And I actually think that's a nice move. It just cleans up that a little bit because it was starting to get a bit cluttered, and that's without a chat history. But nonetheless, I think that that AI image editing is a nice move, and also like this new cleaned up look, and just wanted to let you guys know if you are using Gemini. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.